Okay, hey, everybody. Let's play Runers. This is... A, I love this symbol, by the way. Let's get cracking. Best joke I've heard all day. Oh, come on. Okay, everybody, let's play Runers. This is a game that came out on Steam a few days ago. It is uh, actually about... I think 749 right now on the Steam store. And that is not a bad deal at all. I have to play on Wimpy because uh honestly this game is pretty hard. I'm just gonna pick at random. Okay, looks like I am a uh Wisp Ranger. Cool. Random spell too. Alright, let's go. All right. As you can see, this is a uh, like a top-down roguelike. Looks like I got lightning as my spell, which is good because I kind of like that one. It it recharges very very quickly, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, uh, top-down roguelike. As you can see, I'm very small on the screen. It gives me a lot of I, I move fairly quickly too, uh, and so do the enemies, but. Uh, despite the fast pace, the camera zoomed out far enough that, you know, I can see what I'm doing and, and plan accordingly. And there are lots of enemies on the screen at a time, but again, I, I have the room to maneuver and avoid them. If, well, most of the time. These undead are a pain. They uh, collapse into a pile of bones and you have to step on them for uh, for them to... Uh... Oh, that's neat. Those little, those little things following me are hearts. Uh, the health follows me because of one of the, the class or race things. I think it's uh, because I picked Wisp. They don't normally do that. That's actually kind of a disadvantage since uh, you can leave the health you've acquired in the room for later. These undead are kind of a pain because they collapse into a pile of bones and as you can see I have to step on them to kill them off entirely. Alright. And I've picked up some runes. Now I don't have any combiners so I can't make uh, anything particularly complicated right now but I, uh, <clears throat> if I put the water one in here, you can see I've got, uh, it'll show me down here what that spell does, and actually, it's because I've had a spell, I have had this spell before. If I hadn't have had this spell before, it wouldn't tell me what it would do. But, and, and usually, sometimes I want to wait till I get a combiner, but right now I just want two spells. And the cooldown is really long at first, just because they don't want you like switching out spells for whatever is most opportune and just kind of, uh, you know, like switch spamming, I guess. Hopefully I'll be able to, and I usually do, hopefully I'll be able to get to a point where uh, I can show you what a combined spell looks like. And there are lots and lots and lots of spells. Like, uh, probably hundreds of them. Because every, every it looks like every single possible combination has a spell associated with it. So there are just zillions and zillions of spells, which is great. And, and like, I'm not huge on roguelikes. It's not my favorite genre, but it gives you a real sense of progress to uh, find spell combinations that you've never seen before. So it's really nice to just be able to experiment with, with uh, what you like. And it's 
since you get different runes every time and, and since you, uh, <clears throat> you know, can start out with so many different classes and so many different advantages, it really does feel like a different game every time. Oh, here's a challenge. Uh, kill all the order enemies in order as marked with the ancient seal. I will probably like I'll, I'll probably survive, but I probably won't beat the challenge because I, I kind of fire a little haphazardly. Okay, so I want to kill this guy first. And if I if I do this, I'll get a uh, I'll get like a I'll, I'll get like a little. Uh, you know, like a level up sort of deal. Oh, that's not great. Come on, come on, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, awesome. Oh, that was lucky. That was really lucky on my part because if he hadn't been the next mark with the seal, I would have, uh, I would have lost the challenge. Losing the challenge doesn't incur any particular penalty, but. Uh, Okay. Uh, just gives me runes. Uh, sometimes you'll get like bonuses to your to your character and everything. I'm just gonna pick the fire rune. Oh, but I did level up. Let's see. Uh, increase health he pack healing by five. That's nice. Uh, ooh, black hole gravity collapse. Cause a force on enemies and radius around an enemy that is killed. Let's see. Combine experience on combining spells. I think I'm going to go with health at this early stage. And like the the extra experience thing is great and all, but uh, the danger of that is like if you get hooked on. Uh, you know, if you get hooked on experience increasing spells, well, I mean, you're not spending it on other things. And I'm not sure how much the uh, actual level up stuff does. Ooh, there's a combiner. Awesome. As you can see in this video, the... Uh, like the letters are kind of hard to read that's just because my computer isn't very good right now my laptop isn't very good and that's what I'm using so uh, this game will look a lot better when you actually play it it's just due to the, the my processing capacity that it looks a little janky right now eternal entropy rune of force I'm going to disorganize the hell out of you okay and as you can see right now, uh, it's not telling me what this spell will do because I've never created it before. So let's see. Double lightning. Okay, cool. We'll replace my single lightning. And... Alright, I need to wait for it to cool down. Oh, that's cool. It's going to be a little hard to hit stuff, but I'll be hitting more stuff, so that's good. It's it's kind of, with how fast everything moves, it's a little hard to aim. And that might just be because I'm, uh, like, I'm more console, or uh, I'm more uh, console-oriented than PC-oriented, so sometimes it's, the, the mouse aiming is a little difficult, difficult for me. One thing I don't really understand why they did is you have these other spells. Right now I have assigned them to assigned to space and left uh, left shift. But uh, I'm holding down the space bar right now and if you hold it down it doesn't actually cast multiple times. I'm not sure why they did it that way. Also, it was originally assigned to the one and two buttons. Now if you have more like much more powerful spells and that you can only cast 
you know, once every 60 seconds, that's great. But if you if you want to keep doing like this, uh, the the space and left shift buttons aren't really, uh, you know, the the way this set up isn't really conducive to you having four quick fire spells up at once. Not sure why they did it like that. And for me, you know, like I said, I'm used to uh, console games rather than PC games, so trying to get to those other buttons is kind of uncomfortable. But, you know, like I said, it's probably meant for when you get... that. The mechanic is probably meant for when you get larger spells and are casting them, uh, you know, situationally instead of just spamming them all over the place like I like to do with my spells in the early game. my little map up there. I don't know if you guys have, uh, if the, uh, if by the time you watch this the unturned Let's Play will be up, but in that I, I commented to Eolo that, uh, I find it very difficult to do a sort of running dialogue when I'm the only one playing, because when, I, when I'm when i concentrating, and this game does require a fair amount of concentration, but when I'm concentrating I tend not to talk very much, and it's one of the things I've been trying to work on because, I mean, obviously just me playing and, and not saying anything isn't as interesting as trying to provide some sort of commentary. But it's very strange for me uh, to talk to an audience that isn't actually present. But, you know, I'm sure I'll get used to it. I, this is one of my earlier videos, obviously, so. Alright, there are the stairs. And when I go down here, I get another bonus. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with plus two crit chance, because I really like... I mean, I've got a bunch of runes already, and I really like passive bonuses. It's not a huge passive bonus, but... These little blurbs up in the corner, like, they feel like a story, but I have never run into any, uh, larger story elements in this game, I guess. Like, that's the only thing I've gotten so far in regards to story, which is fine. I mean, I, I don't necessarily need story, story in order to, to, uh, enjoy a game. The, the only thing is this game feels a little uh, kind of aesthetically generic at times. Like uh, the enemies, like these sand digger things, you know, kind of remind me of the like the like likes or whatever from Zelda. And you know, you've got kind of generic wizards and, and skeletons and you know what have you, rats, as as is common in these types of games. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to talk a little about uh, The Binding of Isaac, because these, those, that game is very similar to this one in a lot of respects. Let's see. Uh, damage control. Random en enemy in the room takes 10% of any damage you take. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll go with that. Uh, I don't know if that, I don't think that probably spares me any damage, but it'll be nice to have anyway. Uh, anyway, uh, whoa, that, that dude is fast. Uh, that's, one of the things you don't want to run into is an enemy that's faster than you. Anyway, Binding of Isaac was, was very much a similar type of game, and, uh, if you enjoyed that, I'm gonna say, if you enjoyed that for the gameplay, you're, you'll definitely enjoy this, because, well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that, but I'm, uh, gameplay-wise, I'm enjoying this game more than I enjoy that one, because, uh, 
it seems you get a little more health for one thing so there's not that feeling of constantly being on the verge of dying uh you uh and and the spells especially once you i imagine once you have combined enough of them it's easier to pick and choose what you want whereas binding of isaac kind of gave you stuff at random uh you've also got more class options and stuff but if you if you played binding of isaac more for the aesthetic and and for the humor and for the personality of it this game won't satisfy you so much because uh it's 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 got less of a um it's it's well executed it's a well executed game but it kind of feels very generic in terms of its tone it doesn't really have a a story to tell as much as binding of isaac did all right what is this I have no idea what that just did. I did not mouse over it, and now I'm being have I'm having fireball shot at me, and I don't know why. Oh, I, I just can't get hit by him. Oh well, I failed that challenge. Um. So yeah, story and aesthetic wise, I haven't encountered really all that much that's worth talking about. But uh, gameplay wise, it's it's a lot of fun, and it's. Uh, it's got a ton of replay value because you're constantly like discovering new spells and, and experimenting with the class types that you like. I I am having fun with this double lightning even though I'm not really controlling it very much. And all of these spells that you'll see the enemies using I think are spells that you can actually acquire. So you know if you see an enemy using a spell you really want, look forward to that. I got another couple combiners. Let's see what I can make with them. Eternal Mine Rune of Wonder. And Energized Dark Rune of Force. Alright. Dark Manifestation. Shoots a dark bullet that cannot collide with anything until it manifests. Manifest it manifests after traveling a percent of its distance that sounds like good for direct it's it would be good for direct damage to bosses but i don't know if i'm going to use that eternal earth rune of force and energized shock rune of force uh usually you don't get this many runes that have the modifiers on them uh i'm getting pretty lucky here with these and I don't know what this spell is going to do, so let's find out. Increases the size of a caster's bullets by 50% by, for a short duration. Okay, I'm going to put that in my spacebar. And uh, that's a buff. Okay, so if I hit space, yeah, you can see my water bullets are much, much larger after I press that button. I haven't really used my class ability. I'm not even sure what it is. Focus for up to five seconds, releasing a flurry of arrows. All right. I do not know what that did. Uh, I don't know if I have to stay in one sec in one spot to focus or what the deal with that is. I'll I'll try it in an empty room, I guess, next time so I can see what's what the deal is. And the, the space and left shift don't really show your cooldown either, so it's it's hard to tell when you'll be able to cast again with those. This combination I have up not like it's decent for clearing up rooms of enemies, but single enemies are giving me real trouble. 
see if I can't rectify that with this combiner I've got. Let's go shock rune and fire rune. Oh yeah, molten hammer. I like that spell, I do, but I don't really, I'm not really looking for melee right now. How about shock and earth? Oh yeah, that's the bullet size one. Uh, uh, shock and entropy. That, that's double lightning again. It's weird that I'm getting, I guess, uh, okay, shock and dark, let's see what that does. Ooh, stuns enemies. Short range though. Mini stuns the target. And you can put little spells and runes in this black hole thing and they'll just kind of disappear. Uh, it, it, they disappear once you put another rune over them, I think. Yeah. Wait, no. Okay, it looks like they disappear as soon as you close the menu. Alright, well, you know, whatever. I am off. Okay, I was going to try this, wasn't I? Oh, wow. That's quite a lot of arrows. The problem is that I can't really stay in one place for very long. Otherwise, they will get me. Oh, hey, double combining. Cool. Uh, speed rune and entropy rune. What does this do? L. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Maybe not. Speed rune and water rune. I haven't done that one yet. Ice bolt. Slows movement speed of enemies. And I don't think in this game that your own status effect type things can affect you. I think it only affects the enemy. Hmm. I think I'll put that in my left shift and get rid of this one. And you, you do eventually get more spell slots as you level. I've only ever managed to get an extra one once, though. Uh, this this game can be pretty punishing. I've only ever gotten, I think, to the fourth floor out of ten after having played this, oh, I don't know, six or seven times? But, you know, that's the, that's the nature of roguelikes. I think that thief just disappeared. They like they steal items and stuff from enemies. And if you can see this enemy is glowing gold, that means it'll drop something. And it's really nice that one of the those those ground. I, I think they're slightly tougher than average enemies too. Oh jeez, just got cornered a little bit. Oh uh, yep, there's the there's the combiner. double fire. See what that does. A 
more short range spells. Not not really a fan of short range stuff. Maybe uh, maybe if I had the blessing of the dwarf, which uh, increases damage based on how little range you have. But, alas, I am not a dwarf. I don't have the blessing of the dwarf. A little surprised I haven't found a, uh, a spell that I want to stick in my one of my main slots again yet. Percent on chance on spellcast to release an extra bullet that does two damage. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that one. Oh no, those are some big rats, just enormous rats. The big rats I'm not so scared of. They're, I imagine, they're more powerful and everything, but I mean. Since they're so big, they're so easy to like. They're they're so slow and they're so easy to avoid. And another thing you add to is your your bestiary. You can ha you, like you can see. I imagine there are probably three ranks of casters, which is why these are all blank. Three ranks of maybe everything too. Oh. No. Yeah. Anyway. Like, this is the only boss I've beaten so far. Uh, that was a fun fight, and then I've run into a couple of these things too. Alright. And as long as I'm in the menu, we might as well take a look at the rune decks. And this shows you every possible combination that you can do and have have uh, experienced and there are just so many spells anyway back to the game Oh, it looks like I've explored everything on this floor. Not thrilled about going to the next one with so little health because the next floor is a boss floor. Let's see. Plus one speed levels, I guess. And these little, these little spots on the floor do not stand on them, they injure you. I'm not sure what they are, uh, but they're not good. Did I get that from destroying a crate? I don't know, I'll have to look at it later. But as far as I know, those crates don't actually do anything for the most part. Like, you see a big crate and you're tempted to break it open and see what's inside, but the answer is either usually or always nothing. Oh. Whoa, what happened there? Oh, these, these ant things, I don't know what's happening with them, but they're, like, turning into trees. I guess i got to destroy the trees or they'll come back. 
And I don't know why my reticle is splitting into so many parts. I don't think it indicates where my uh, thing will hit. And it, I, I don't know if that's a, a quirk of the software or if my laptop is acting up or what. But I, I didn't used to have three reticles on my screen when I had three projectiles, did I? I don't think so. Not even sure what's going on and why this thing is regenerating and everything. And, uh, I've defeated these things before, haven't I? Oh. Alright. Oh, okay. I think once they take enough damage, they turn back into trees, and then you have to defeat them again, because... Watch this. Yeah, the door locked again. So you never defeat them entirely, you just have to turn them back into trees. I wonder if I can burn them. Yeah, I'm not going to try it, but... You know, there's one of those sunspot, whatever, glowy bastard thing. Oh, that's a lot of health. I could really do with that right now. Yeah, oh, look. One of the enemies just charged right into the, the glowy spot and died. So at least, you know, that's uh, non-discriminatory as far as damage goes. So that's nice. Double combiner. See if I can get... These, these force runes I haven't been experimenting with much. Let's see what this does. Holy shot. If it hits an enemy, gives them increased density and reduced movement speed. I'm not sure what density means. I have to look that up. Uh... Let's try it in place of this one, and then I'm not likely to use that one. Yeah, they're, those are actually like water and fire mages. They shoot that helix shot that I, I've actually had that one before. It's just water, one water and one fire. I actually did make a video the first time I played this, but uh, my settings in Open Broadcaster were such that the game just, the, the, the game didn't lag terribly, but the video absolutely did. Which, again, is why this video is slightly lower than quality than you might expect. And by slightly, I mean very much. But, I mean, I, I have I have viewed a video I've made at this uh, resolution, and so... I know that at least you can kind of see what's going on, even if it's kind of... Even if it's a little hard to read the, uh... To read the, the lettering. That's nah, useless to me. Um, oh, oh, I'm trapped. Something happened. I'm not sure what, but I'm. Ugh, bugs that explode into other bugs.
wish these lightning bolts were a little longer range. But, you know, if wishes were horses, uh, well, we'd probably be up to our elbows in horse crap, and then we'd wish that we weren't up to our elbows in horse crap, and that would only compound our problem. There's something that has some kind of crazy range knockback spell. Not sure what. I think it might be this little wisp thing. Leave a holy fire zone after killing an undead or demon creature. Yeah, I think we'll do that. See what the challenge room has to offer. Oh, the uh, dodge the fireballs thing again. All right. Well. Oh. And it looks like as long as you're dodging the fireballs, you get a little bit of XP, which is cool. Okay. Oh, there's a room full of stuff that I'm not interested in. Archer of some kind, not. Okay. Sometimes I forget where my mouse is and it causes me some trouble. I think these guys have sort of a pull in effect. completely forgot about my spacebar ability. I do that a lot. Oh god. Oh, I'm trapped. Oh no. Oh god. That near, very nearly did me in. And that's something you really can't help is where the enemies spawn in the room. And if it's near the door, well... Bad things happen to you. That thing took a chunk of health, looks like. Not faring very well at the moment. Hopefully I don't do something undignified, like we'll just walk into one of these sunspots. I call them sunspots, I don't know what they actually are. At least all these are melee enemies, for the most part. Okay. All of you trees are being trees. because uh, I'm not equipped to deal with like a, a mini boss which I think that is what that red glow indicates not really equipped to deal with much right now might as well see if there's anything in these containers while I'm at it or wait no that might be the actual boss because I think I'm on a boss floor 
yeah, this is, this won't end well for me. Izilla. Whoa. Oh. That's nasty business. Okay. Yeah, I'm dead. Let's, uh, and it gives you all your stats at the end. Um. Okay. Let's stop. Well, no, just for a second, let me let me remind you guys that this is less than eight dollars on Steam, and like for the price of what a hamburger meal, you can play this game too. So it's it's easy on the wallet, and it's very very uh, it's very replayable. I mean, I know roguelikes are meant to be, but this game is especially uh, with all the spells you can get and everything, and everything you can discover. Uh, I would recommend you buy it if you're a fan of this kind of game. Okay, now let's stop. <laughs>